<clears throat> What's up, conspirators? This is how it's done. Welcome to my random vlog. The vlog, oh yeah, where I talk about nothing and everything at the exact same time. Because I can. Yep. How are things on your end of the world? They going good? Is the weather making up its mind? Is it behaving for you now? Are you able to have like a normal day in your life today? Really? Not? I, what? Define normal. I mean, come on. It's all relative, isn't it? And uh, speaking of relative, it seems to be, in normalcy sense, floating around YouTube of trick shots. You know, they, people did it with, uh, what is it, rugby? Rugby, somebody made a parody of it. Somebody did football, somebody made a parody of it. Ugh, my hair is getting messed up. Somebody's probably gonna make a parody of it. If they don't, it's probably fine with me. I don't really care. But um, now, somebody decided to do basketball. Oh yeah, you heard it right. They did a basketball trick shot. And um, you wanna know where this one comes out of? Good old Milwaukee, Wisconsin, my hometown. And I actually know somebody who, or two or three, who help out on the uh, Milwaukee Bucks behind the scenes. And uh, yes, this video actually comes directly from them, from the Brockness monster. John Brockman, he posted a trick shot video up on the YouTubes. Where else would he post it? And it's, it's getting a lot of attention. And uh, pretty good, man. I kind of like that. If you want to see the video, simply click the link down below in the description. You'll be able to see that video of him uh, doing the trick shots. This video is just basically how talking about it. So how did what did you think of it? Oh, I thought it was very good. You know, it might have taken a little while for him to get them off. Might have taken forever with the filming, but you know, those trick shots are pretty impressive. You try doing them. Just you try doing them, especially like one of the last two. Um, they was pretty good. Yeah, so go see it. And if you don't, you're missing out on a piece of YouTube history waiting to be made. What are they gonna parody next? Trick shots, oh, Frisbee, Ultimate Frizzy. Dang it, I shouldn't have said it. Now somebody's gonna do a trick shot video of ultimate frisbee and if they don't uh -uh, yours truly just might booyah grandma but yeah basically what happened on my end of the world today on my end of the world normal day in paradise didn't do anything special today I uh, just did the normal teaching teaching kids English having fun with them interacting with them speaking English and a mixture of Chinese with them and then hanging out with the Huang family afterwards. And if you're wondering, I know somebody's gonna mention about yesterday's video about a movie theater in Taiwan. Somebody's going to ask the question sooner or later, how are the movie theaters here in Taiwan? Pretty much the same in America, except most of the movie theaters you're going to find are going to be situated in a mall. And uh, by mall, I mean Lots of other stores, lots of other people milling about, but the, but the movie theater itself is a little bit separate from that. If you want something, a movie theater to compare it to, try Mayfair Mall. They have the movie theater built in to the mall and you can like walk throughout the mall or you can like walk through the uh, movie theater and go sit in and watch a movie. There's also, a, what is it, another mall in, in Oklahoma? I believe that I went to that you can also do it there as well but yeah um movie theaters are pretty much the same for the most part except they have two options one is the Chinese subtitles and two is dubbed over in Chinese with Chinese subtitles and by Chinese I mean Mandarin because they don't speak Cantonese here and by Mandarin I mean traditional Mandarin not simplified but uh for the most part, it's normal. The movies obviously are in English. They just have the Chinese subtitles and you need to make sure when you go into the movie that they have the one with just the Chinese subtitles because otherwise if it's dubbed over in Chinese, you'll have no idea what they're saying unless you know Chinese, obviously. But um, 
movie theaters pretty much the same here in Taiwan. I haven't I don't know anywhere else in the world except America. And that's the only comparison I'm going off of. And uh my day in a nutshell also was comprised of trying to show one of the the host family that I lived with, A and W Mountain Mountain Dew? What? A and W root beer. Um, apparently they were able to like look up some history on it in um, Chinese and I guess I the name or something or something of a reference to something is like a drug and the dad he likes to show up by going like I don't know what the heck it's some kind of drug MD I don't know some drug that makes you go cuckoo in the head and uh I don't know, he's kind of like freaked out about trying it. I'm like, oh, for crying out loud, all you have here is Coke, Sprite, and apple cider. That's pretty boring. Come on, where's the Mountain Dew? Where's the root beer? Where's all the other sodas that we have in America? Well, they're not, because this is Taiwan, and apparently the soda companies don't want to come over to Taiwan. Some of the other ones, they should, because they'd have a really good market here and a really good reception, because, I mean, it's boring walking into McDonald's and only having Sprite or Coke. Granted, you do that in America, but it's still boring, and I never order a Coke in America at a McDonald's. Never have, probably never will. Just because, well, Coke is boring, and not to mention it gives you a headache if you drink it for a while. But yeah, let's see. Comment phrase of the day, if you're going to leave a comment, is basketball trick shot. Pretty much. Oh, oh, oh. You want to see a trick shot that I can do on my own? You want to see a trick shot? Okay, check this out. Pretend you're the ball, and, you know, I'm, like, some, like, really cool, worldwide famous NBA player. Michael Jordan, yeah, we'll go with that, even though I'm not black and white. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything more on that. And pretend that over there? Well, that's the hoop. Check it out. We're on the back. Booyah, nut butt net. What, you didn't see it? Rewind it and do it in slow-mo, okay? Come on. I am the trick shot master. Booyah, grandma, in your face. But yeah, that's the common phrase of the day. Not to mention you got a whole taste of the trick shot action if you're the basketball itself. Otherwise, you can comment whatever else you want to comment about. But uh, pretty much keep being awesome conspirators. Wait, 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 wait. Be sure to share this video with a friend, because if you don't, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. And this time you're gonna go up in the air and maybe over there and probably bounce off that wall and then land there if you don't fall off the bed first. Wait, who has said anything that the, it was a bed? I don't know. I don't know. You did, you did. I, I didn't say anything about it. Man, I'm, I'm just talking. But uh, be sure to share this video with a friend. Now I can say the outro. Because that's how it's done. Booyah. <laughs> and, and that's a reference back to the uh, video that's linked in the description below. Because that's how it's done. And I'm going to shut up saying that right now. Because, well, that's how it's done. Shut up! For crying out loud! Okay. Pretty much, keep being awesome, conspirators. World travelers. And until we meet again, which will most likely be tomorrow, because that's how it's done. Shut up! <sighs> Honestly, I got that phrase stuck in my head now. Thanks a lot, John Brockman, for crying out loud. Honestly, peace out.